is she with that monster? I must get to her. You... you're right. I have to stop. I have to think. There must be another way. The home of the Children of Stone. Yes. They say Wardens can sense Darkspawn even deep beneath the ground. I would join the Grey Wardens. Give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep. I am not afraid of death. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? Masiranas. Shall we go then? I've had enough of this place. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose... you know... in your travels... Splendid, but I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. 
I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. Psst. Psst. Warden. Horan is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art. The art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade? What are you about? Oh, nothing, nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. Yes, Commander? Let me see, let me see. <gasps> oh, amazing. This might be Heartwood. I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish Elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield, yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> oh, kind of you to notice. I that was my work. The name is Dworken Glavenock. Some call me Dworken the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> you have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations. It's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. Aye, aye, and that it is. Lost a cousin to it. And some apprentices. But a stable formula would put a mess of herd on the dark spawn. Let us retake some of our lost tigs. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. Real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. Fine. We'll be safe. Happy now, Voldrick? Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> I'm simply wondering how your kind can call yourselves nobles. It seems ironic. We like irony. And it rolls off the tongue better than oppressors. Ah, so you're a funny human. Not I. I wouldn't dare lighten your mood, milady. <sighs> Thorns yes. of the silk. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself.
Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. I'm just going to assume that something died in your mouth. Funny story. Dwarf attacks mage, dwarf wins. Yeah, I noticed how you pissed in your armor in that last fight. Well done. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Nathaniel here. Your wish is my command. Well.
very well. favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. Are you ready? Of course. Are you ready? Of course. Have you ever thought of returning to Ozama? Not sure I can. Technically, I'm a surface dwarf now. Why technically? You don't know for certain? It's not like they send you a letter. Congratulations! You've been ejected from the warrior caste. Do you care? Sometimes. Then I drink more and it goes away. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? 
Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Samuel. Groundskeeper Samuel. Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. And Lady Delilah... Don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. Could we ask around the shops? Next time we're in Amaranthine? Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her. Initial Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. Hey, Commander. We need to talk. Is my axe buried in your chest? No? Then you're not in trouble. It's something else. Dreams. You get them. This is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there, and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Huh. Well, I do get other dreams about darkspawn, mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick How. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden, just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. Told what? The joining is a secret. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. There isn't a blight now, either. That doesn't mean Grey Wardens aren't still needed. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere.
All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. There is a matter with Sir Temerley that simply couldn't wait. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the sheep herder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My fam... my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well, I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temerley the Ox. Sir Temerley stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusations. You are accused of murder, sir. My soldiers found you fleeing while Sir Tamra's blood was still hot. There's a great deal of traffic on the roads, not all of it human. And it's so dangerous at night. We were merely in a hurry to reach a nice, safe place. You mock this court with your denials. You have nothing, Captain. Release me, Commander. It's this common lout's word against mine. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temerley was a confederate of Al Hal. I fear you're correct. If he's innocent, I'm the Empress of Orlais. But it's possible, I suppose. Only some blood on their clothes. A sadly common sight on travelers these days. Besides that, nothing. The captain looked into the matter thoroughly. There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the Ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence... But you are within your rights to execute him. What is your will? Oh, I intend to. Commander. That insolent! This session of the Arling's Court is over. And make her help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. You know, Nathaniel, you're just like me. Am I now? Everyone hates your family for something terrible they did, even though you weren't involved. 
I hope you. You're going beyond the call of duty, Warden Commander. the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him, without question. I... had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother. Let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back. Once all this is done, meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? What if I'd never left? I didn't have much choice, but still. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. You're back. Have you any news? Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I promised a donation, didn't I? Here. Take this, with the Merchant's Guild's compliments. If there is anything else the Merchant's Guild can do for the Grey Wardens, do not hesitate to ask. It was a pleasure to meet you, Warden Commander. Busted down, skulls thumped, and vices preyed upon. But I have answers. My services are expensive for a reason. I could not unearth the conspirators' identities. They are paranoid. But I know they meet at Old Stark's farm on the Ferival Plains. Make her be with you. Oi, about time you showed up. The mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cache is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Word of advice, don't let him sweet talk you. He's very good at that. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. 
That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages in the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. It is. It really is. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Should we get a move on? How do the Templars always find you, Anders? Incredibly angry. That's how they find me. There must be some trick to it, surely. They began recruiting women. The male Templars never stopped to ask for directions. You're impossible to talk to. I do my best. Why can't the Darkspawn just die? All things in this world are finite. What... May I help you? I am fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. I've only newly taken my vows. The more senior Templars have returned to Denerim for more men. They suggested I find someone more skilled, like you, who could apprehend the Maleficarum. Apostates and Maleficarum are all too common across the nation, alas. I have worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the Maker's work. It's not like Karam to be gone this long. And now, I was sure I would find him at the inn. We must follow the example of Andrade and... The Dark Spawn was supposed to go away when... The Archdemon died. In Amaranthine, it's worse than before. 